friends, time for another story time. And over here, I have written down something that's going to be important about our book. So some of you may have heard me talk about this in class and it says, Roy G. Biv. Roy G. Biv. Hmm, wonder what that stands for. When it rains, and the sun comes out, sometimes there's something that you can see. What is that special thing that needs rain or water and some sunshine? Yep, it's a rainbow. So this Roy G. Biv, this is how I learned how to remember the order of the colors of, that are inside the rainbow. So at the top of the rainbow, it's a color that starts with er. Yep, you know it. It is red. And underneath the red is a color that starts with oh. oh. It's orange. Under orange is yeah, yeah, yellow. Under yellow is g, g. You said green, you're right. Under G is B, 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 blue. That's how our friend blue spells his name, but the color blue has a letter E at the end, that's silent. I, that's a tricky one, that's indigo. And that's a color that's in between blue and V, V. Another name for purple violet. So if you cannot remember the order of the rainbow, think of Roy G. Biv. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And our book today is one of my favorites. It's called A Rainbow of My Own and it's written by Don Freeman. Those of you who like the book Corduroy and all the series of Corduroy books, this is the same author that wrote that book. And it goes like this. Today, I saw a rainbow. It was so beautiful that I wanted to catch it for my very own. I put on my raincoat and hat and I ran outdoors. Fast as the wind, I ran. Ooh, it's a little windy right here. But when I came to where the rainbow should have been, it wasn't there. Uh-oh, I bet you can see what's missing from that page. Why the rainbow's not there. I thought maybe some rainy day, a rainbow will come and stay a while. I'll be walking along slowly and suddenly I'll hear a soft whirring sound like the wings of a bird. I'll look around and see a rainbow following me. I'll know by the way that it circles and whirls. It wants to play. So I'll hop over my rainbow and my rainbow will leap over me. I'll climb up one side and slide down the other. My rainbow will make a peacock fan for me to walk in front of and a hammock for me to swing in. We'll play a game of hide and go seek. I'll shut my eyes and count to 20 and then look all around. If I were a rainbow, where would I hide? Where would you hide if you were? In a flower garden, of course. Rows of flowers look like a rainbow. Suddenly the sun came out again from behind the rain clouds and my pretend rainbow disappeared the way that real rainbows do. But when I came back home, I saw something glowing inside the window of my room. And when I ran indoors, what do you think he saw when he ran indoors? 
when I ran indoors, there was a rainbow dancing on the wall. The sun was shining through the water in my goldfish bowl and it made a rainbow just for me. A rainbow of my very own. So do you remember what are the two things that you must have to create a rainbow? One of them is water and the other one is light. And so when you came home, here's the light shining, there's the water. And so he got to have that beautiful rainbow on his wall. Awesome. Maybe you can draw or paint a rainbow of your own today. All right, that's it till next time. Bye friends.